All right. We did it. We painted everything. I painted everything. Everything is painted beautifully white. Um, so it's three days later, my homies. Um, I did all that. Most of what you saw recently in terms of like the actual building process was done Saturday and Sunday. Today's Wednesday. Sunday night I tried to paint a little bit. Monday night uh, I fixed the dumb stuff I was doing on Sunday night and really dug in and got probably about half of the stuff painted one uh, that night. The next night, last night, I did uh, the remainder of the white stuff. Everything has two coats. I don't know if it's going to throw off the balance of the fans. I don't know if it's going to conflict with the way that the fan uh, housings fit together. You know, seamlessly these uh, spacings are pretty specific. As you can see, I didn't even bother painting this stuff. There's no reason to. It's going to be covered. Uh, same with the back side of it. Um, the I'm, I'm wearing gloves um, just because of the painting. I got a box of 50 latex gloves for like four bucks or something crazy. So I've been using them. This is probably my fourth pair over the course of the two days of having them, maybe three days. Um, and tonight I didn't. I painted the CPU block as well, which you can't see here. It's still outside drying. The uh, the back side of it is white, and the primary block is black. Um, so I did a lot of painting, rather rather taping. Um, not as much as I was really expecting to. Maybe it just felt like a lot because I'm super new to all of this. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so here in the next few, I'm going to be taking some tape off. This is the underside of the glorious pump. And uh, ultimately, that's what you'll see from the front. That's kind of tacky now that I'm looking at it with the paint on the whatever. I'm not going to nitpick that. Um, I actually ran out of, like, I made it to the last piece this last uh, PSU bracket and I ran out of white paint on basically the second coat of that. So I got two coats on everything. Um, the first coat, uh, like I've never really done this before so I was stressing about the coverage on the first layer. Even though I was anticipating doing two layers I didn't really know the benefit, how much impact the second layer would actually have on the first. Um, like I was kind of stressing out even on these that were like dark gray the fans themselves were, were gray. After the first uh, coat of paint, many spots were, were clearly very thin. You could see the original color coming through. So I just kind of, you know, said, fuck it, we'll do it live. And uh, these guys are jet black. These feet, they were jet black, and that's two coats on it. Um, so that was the first thing that I think I finished <clears throat> and realized that two, two coats was going to work. Um, so that's where I ended up on all of it. Um, let's see, what else can I mention about the painting process? <clears throat> Super tedious, like I didn't spend all night, but I spent a good four, four hours, I don't know, three to four hours, uh, the last couple nights at least working on it. I was beat Sunday after, uh, the water pump test, like that was legitimately one of the scariest moments of my life. Um, and now I have to do it again. Like, the whole mindset with this is so lunatic it's so demented like by all of this insane top level shit and then just tear it apart and fuck with it and then put it back together um in my case like i <clears throat> kind of put it together and then kind of took it apart i don't even remember at this point but like so much setup and tear down and like fucking with it in between is so unnerving for someone who hasn't done this a lot uh, or, you know, generally ever. Um, certainly nothing in this detail. Um, I'm pretty, pretty happy that the whites actually match um, between the case and the components. Like, I don't think that's going to be an issue. I kicked around the idea of painting the case, but I'm just lazy at this point. I think this is going to work. 
<clears throat> okay. It's going to work okay. Um, I did end up kind of deciding that I want to shine. I want to somehow kind of like buff the uh, the shine out of the tubes so they can be matte as well. I was really surprised that this wasn't shiny when I got it, the case. Um, technically, I guess I'm supposed to uh, paint those screws, but uh, I think I'm not going to, just to see how many folks I can make go crazy online. Um, and what else? Yeah, I gotta set up the pump again. Uh, out there, I've got in the garage. What do I have out there drying right now? I have the bearings. So here, are the all the black bearings, and then mod my mods up in New York. Unfortunately, had uh, the the website was showing that they had black 45s in stock, but it turns out they only had uh, silver or chrome, whatever. So they were fully out of stock, so it'd be a long time to get before they got new stock. So I was like, all right, just send me whatever and I'll paint them. Um, not surprisingly, painting black on chrome was significantly easier than painting white on black. <clears throat> um, all of the fittings that I'm painting, I think it's a total of four, have rotary joints. And even the folks that I was talking to who have experienced this sort of thing before, like they haven't messed around with standard paint in this way on, on rotary fittings, so um, they weren't particularly sure how the paint would dry at that joint. You know, once once the rotary joint turns just the first time, is it going to tear all the paint? Is it going to shatter it? You know, who, nobody really knows. It might like flake off, but in between coating, uh, so I did, let me just grab So we will just pretend that this is the fitting that I'm painting. What I would do literally is paint this half, put it down, grab the next one, paint this half, put it down, grab the next one, and so on. And then at the end of the last one, pick up the other half of the first one and paint that one very meticulously with a little foam. I wouldn't call it a brush, more of a super uh, fine sponge. You know, it's a common painting tool, common enough. It was like 60 cents, so I got four of them. Just a little round piece of wood with a black square of, uh, of foam on it. And that worked really well for painting damn near everything. Um, I did switch to the brush for the some of the intricacies, some of the little shit around this fan housing, the hard to reach spots, the brush was worlds better than uh, that, the silly sponges for that sort of thing. Uh, some other things I need to sort out still. I mean, tonight, right now, like I just finished the painting, which kind of blows my mind. I'm really happy about it. Um, I didn't have any trouble painting the black pieces, so fingers are super crossed. Um, let me see. Yeah, you can kind of see on this one, there is a distinct textured surface on this guy. And the ones that I painted were very similar, but more extreme, more pointed. The troughs down in between the points in there are larger on the ones that I painted tonight. And uh, more paint gets caught down in there, so it just simply takes longer to dry. Unfortunately, I have to leave those for even longer because those are the joints, those are the places where I'm going to be putting the most pressure on to screw everything in. So I'm having to use some crazy self-control not to jump into it. Um, however, <clears throat> um, I've got to be hypersensitive about getting black on white right now. Um, it happened on the CPU block, but I had paint thinner, which is apparently an amazing thing for oil-based paint. Like, literally, I must have just... Literally, I must have just, um, what's up there? Hello? Do you just, did I break my focus? 